Hey, fellas. Welcome back to another episode here at the Mancor. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. How awesome is that, right? I'm sure most of you guys are, are getting ready to watch the big game tonight. I am as well. I'll be doing it here. I'm not going to be going out or anything. Got to shut it down. Uh, big week this week. So if you are new here, the main core is a community for men digging to their core to find out who they really are, why they're really here, and who it is that they really want to become. We focus on three topics, masculinity, health, and relationships. Please consider subscribing for future videos. For today's video, we're going to cover off on a topic that is really good for our physical health. And with all the junk food, all the great snacks, and all the awesomeness, and all the you know, get-togethers that are probably going to be happening tonight, it's important that we not let go or we not forget about our optimized health and you know, taking really good care of our body, our physical health. So for today's video, what I'm going to do is cover off on my Sunday routine, um, some things that I do in terms of my diet, my recovery, and just a couple of the tools that I use, uh, some of the supplements that I use, and um, you know some different activities. So I want to give you a rundown of what I normally do on Sunday, and you know hopefully you'll pick up a, a few tips. Um, if not, definitely share some stuff below. Uh, add your comments and share your feedback. Again, I'm I'm continuing to watch that stuff, so thank you uh, for sharing that stuff. So as you probably have seen from other videos, I'm a regular gym uh, goer every morning before work. It's kind of a non-negotiable for me. Um, it's just about getting your mind right, getting your physical um, physical health right, and just getting your body right before the day starts. It all starts with with you. So, um, you know, if I can recommend anything, getting to the gym as early as possible, and you know, avoid um, you know talking yourself out of it towards the end of the day. I go right away in the morning. So, but you know, going five, six days a week, I actually go six days a week and it's tough for me to take off Sunday. I don't want to do it, but I know that it's, it's physically advantageous and it's very beneficial for your body to take a day off. Uh, because while it doesn't occur or doesn't, um, doesn't seem that way, um, your body actually does most of its growth in repair, which is not actually at the gym. It's when you're sleeping and it's when you're away from the gym. When you're actually there is when you're breaking it down and when you know, you're really uh, tearing it up. And then all the supplements and all the things that you do and the rest that you get and what you're putting back in is, or the downtime, um, that's actually where you're doing more of your building is in your recovery phase. So that is, that is some of the, that is tip number one is, you know, if you're going to go five to six or if you're going seven times a week, that's awesome that you're that motivated to go. But just know that you, you may be missing out on some really beneficial recovery and, you know, you could be actually making bigger strides or bigger gains if you do take one day off. Some people take two. I, I have to take one and limit it to one because I kind of go crazy. But um, that would be tip number one. And, you know, a lot of people think that, that Sunday is like cheat day, right? So like I've been dieting or I've been very disciplined all week. Well, and then you're going to throw it away all on Sunday or throw it away all on uh, the, the Super Bowl snacks. We can't forget about like all the hard work and all the shit that we've been doing the last six days, right? Or even before that, because Monday is imminent. It'll be here. And pretty soon, you know, you're going to wonder, you know, where all that uh, progress and all those results went. So instead of looking at it like cheat day, maybe look at it as cheat meal or cheat dessert. So bring it down to like a micro level. Instead of being able to cheat like all day, maybe just cheat like for one meal or during one hour of the day or for you know, one portion of the meal, like don't make it be about the 24 hours because you can cut loose and that's just too much freedom um, in my opinion. So where I've had better luck is just doing cheat meal because I still have cravings. I still want to eat things. I still want to enjoy things. That's what keeps me motivated. Um, so I would recommend looking at it from like a micro level rather than just doing it all day, right? So the next thing 
that I would recommend is that you, if you're gonna do some activity, um, I would really dial it back. So maybe go for a walk or, you know, a, like, a, like a light jog. Um, you know, heavy, heavy training, if you're trying to build muscle and, and burn fat, but heavy, heavy training is actually really, dis it can be destructive on your body. So again, I'm kind of going back to rest here, but um, it's not a bad idea for you to, to get out and, and get your legs and um, get your body moving. Don't just stay in bed all day or sit on the couch all day watching Super Bowl all day. Um, you know, get out and, you know, experience the neighborhood or, or you know, kind of just get moving because um, a lot of the lactic acid that's been building up from some of your hard training has to go somewhere. So um, if you're drinking a lot of water, which that's, you know, a big tip, t Sunday's a good day to, you know, really bring in a lot of fluids um, because you want to flush out a lot of that stuff that, you know, you've been building lactic acid, some stuff from your diet. Um, you really want to flush that stuff out. So um, if you're drinking a lot of uh, drinking a lot of water, and you know you're you're at least getting some not really even exercise, you're just getting some movement out, um, and you're not you're not stagnant all day. Uh, you'll 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 flush your body out of, of toxins and a lot of the acids that are uh, that are building up from either your diet or, or exercise. Now, um, moving into some of the, I've kind of been covering off on some of the don'ts, but on, on the next side is, you know, some of the things that, that you should do or what I would recommend doing is, um, is, to, is to consume healthy fats. Now, in my opinion, you should kind of be doing this all week, but you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do it on one day where you know you're not training, um, it's, it's Sunday for me, so you know, that would be a day that I would really want to look at having some meals that have really healthy fats in them. So omega threes, um, you know, salmon, flax and chia seeds, uh, walnuts, um, you know, grass fed beef. Those are some things that, you know, are good avocados. If I didn't mention that, maybe I did, but, um, if those are things that you really want to def, you know, put, put more of in your diet throughout the week, um, you need them for sure, but you know, if you're going to do them in like all in one time, you want to do it on your rest day because it's really good for your joints. It's really good for your repair, cuts down on inflammation. Um, it's just highly recommended that you get that stuff in, you know, whether it's all at one time or, or throughout the week. So that would be uh, tip, uh, tip number one there. Then, you know, the next one would be like, we're, we're in repair mode right? So we're resting and we're trying to repair a lot of the, the, the damage and the, and the dis, not destruction, but the, the tearing of the muscles that we've been doing in the gym, whether it was on Saturday or, you know, all week, uh, we need more protein and amino acids to help out and facilitate that repair. Um, and again, this goes back to what I said at the top being that, you know, you're actually doing more repair and recovery when the supplements and the things that you're putting into your body after you leave the gym uh, help with. So when you're in the gym, even though you look bigger, what you're actually doing is you're tearing muscle strands apart and um, everything that you do after that uh, will help facilitate the rebuilding of those muscle fibers and um, building upon them. So that's where you see growth. That's why it's important to take at least a day off so that your body has time to actually repair what you've already been damaging. So that would be, that would be tip, uh, the second tip, you know, good, good proteins. I'm not talking like, you know, uh, like bacon cheeseburgers. Those taste good, but like, you know, really think about some of the proteins that you're eating in. Get, you know, lean, uh, trimmed turkey, um, leaned, and, and trim chicken breasts. Um, you know, you, you could do, if, if you're not, I kind of get tired of some of that stuff too. So like then I'll go to the, back to the salmon or uh, a good uh, like clean white fish or something like that. But you know, there are a lot of good proteins out there. Tuna, canned tuna is another one. Um, and do the one in water. Um, I recommend doing the, uh, the ones that are solid white, you know, chunk white and like half white and all that other stuff. It's like basically fucking cat food. I, I don't, if you want to have that, that's fine. Like I'm going to spend my money 
if I'm gonna buy tuna, I want it to be good. So I buy, doesn't matter what brand, but I always buy solid white and I buy it in water instead of oil. Um, that would be my next, uh, my next tip there is uh, good quality proteins and amino acids for your recovery for that day. Uh, again, these are things you should be doing throughout the week too, but uh, just, you know, bear in mind. Uh, the protein that you're using, so, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, hopefully you're using some kind of protein uh, after your workouts, like immediately after your workouts. Now, the two that I'm most very familiar with are an isolate protein and a, um, a delayed, re like a delayed release, which is more of a, um, a whey protein. So isolate is very pure, it's very finite, and it goes, it's, it, it's basically the right into your muscles, right, right after recovery, right after your workout. That's when you need it the most, that's when it, you know, basically just jolts right, it gets to where it needs to go. The, the other side of it, the way is more delayed release. So if, um, if you have the protein shake right afterwards, you're gonna get spurts and you're gonna get it, uh, you're gonna get it to where it needs to go for repair and, and you're, gonna get, you're gonna get to where it needs to go in repair and uh, reproduction um, slower, but delayed over time. So like every half hour or maybe every 20 minutes or every hour or whatever. It's just a lot longer lasting. I prefer the isolate uh, because it's instant. I want, I want the recovery to happen right away. I haven't eaten anything. I go right away in the morning. Uh, typically that's the first thing that I eat uh, because it's blended with a banana and uh, that's to help out with uh, any kind of cramping uh, that may, that may flare up. But you know, that's, uh, that's really my first source is that isolate protein. It, it gets right to my recovery. Uh, it's not heavy. It's very clean. That's the one I prefer. Um, it's really good at keeping your cholesterol levels low too. Uh, some of that other heavy protein stuff has got a lot of saturated fat in it and a lot of filler. I don't, I personally don't like that. So I go with an isolate. Um, and then a tip while you're at the gym too. So I'll, I think a lot of people, I see this happen all the time. So people will go to the gym and they just work like single muscle groups, you know, like either their arms or their calves or like their triceps. Like you have, those things are good, but think if you're trying to build muscle, if you're trying to get big, right? If you're, if you're trying to, um, reduce, reduce fat, uh, trim your belly fat or, or trim areas of fat, and you're trying to build muscle, um, think of the big muscle groups. Now, those are your leg muscles, your quads, your hams, like everything around your butt, your waist, your thighs, those are, that is like, you know, that's what drives your core right there. Um, and your back muscles. So like your lats, everything through here, all the way down to your back, um, your back muscles. Um, and your and your shoulders and your chest. Those are the four areas you want to do lifts that that help build up those four areas. That's going to help you get bigger, stronger, and it's what produces the most um, HGH, uh, human growth hormone. So that's going to help build your testosterone. That's going to help in your recovery. So instead of going and focusing on just your biceps for the for the chicks. Um, Try to figure out ways that you can do like muscle groups. Again, legs, back, um, shoulders, chest. You know, we're talking squats, we're talking deadlifts, we're talking uh, lat pull down, we're talking bench, we're talking shoulder press, we're talking military press. We're you know, there's a ton of them. But those are the four areas that you really want to focus on. And those are, those are compound muscle groups, not single, but compound, right? There's more of them there. You're gonna build more muscle, you're gonna be bigger, and you're gonna um, uh, recover faster, right? So those are kind of some do's and don'ts. Now, in terms of uh, supplements and some things that I do for recovery, so, you know, this recovery is not something that I take very lightly. You know, if I'm gonna take a day off, I'm actually going to, you know, I'm gonna use that day to really take advantage of the time that I have off uh, and really, you know, make sure that I'm preparing myself for the following week. And, you know, I wanna share a couple of the things that I've done um, recently that have really helped out. So 
On Sundays, I will actually take a very long, uh, like half hour to 45 minute bath in Epsom salt. So you can buy Epsom salt bags online. You can buy them online, but you can buy them in any like health food store or Walgreens or CVS, wherever for like two bucks. And I usually buy like the mid size one and I'll just do like a bath with, with, uh, with just the Epsom salt in it and then I'll clean up afterwards. Um, that really helps out with the movement of fluid, any lactic acid, um, any bruising, any soreness, stiffness. So it actually helps with digestion too. It's funny that I said that and I, I had like a burp. It was very interesting there. But um, if you've never tried lactic acid, like I would highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's kind of been a game changer for me. So uh, a couple of other things here too. So um, in terms of supplements, like I kind of have a hard time sleeping. So what really helps your joints and actually helps me relax is uh, I use like these CBD gummies. And, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you're pothead, you stoner. Like actually, you know, there's like only trace amounts of THC in some of these CBD products and they're growing like crazy. You can find them all over the place. Um, it really helps calm calm me down, it like reduces anxiety, it's better, it's good on your joints and it helps put me to sleep and keeps me there. So if you're considering or have thought about using CBD products, um, I just use the CBD only. You can get the ones that are like full spectrum where they they kind of have more of the cannabinoids in them. I use just these uh, these Just CBD products. I'll link to them um, in, the, in the show notes below, but uh, CBD gummies is a really good thing. That's what I use. Um, you know, a, a, a multivitamin, you can find, a, you know, a bunch of different kinds for, for, uh, for men, um, is the one that I use. It's a one a day, you know, they're like 20 bucks. Uh, but you know, you get like 90, 90 to hundred, uh, in a, in a package. I just take one every day in the morning and, uh, you know, there's a lot of vitamins, minerals, you know, a lot of that stuff that you're not going to be able to get from your diet, especially if you're on the go, if you're a busy guy, just, you know, make sure that you're, uh, you know, getting, getting the right uh, vitamins and minerals and nutrients. Um, and if it has to come from a, a supplement, then, then so be it. Just have it be a, a daily multivitamin. Um, the next one is one that I found a couple years ago. And like, I would recommend for really anybody that's got a crazy stomach. Like I wrestled forever and my stomach is like all fucked up from all the crazy dieting. If you know anything about wrestling and cutting weight, Dude, it's so brutal. And I feel like, you know, my stomach has just made me pay for it. <laughs> but the only thing that has settled it down has actually been a probiotic. So uh, you'll, you'll see a lot of commercials on probiotic and yogurts and all this other stuff. Um, I, I don't particularly care for that much dairy or yogurt. And I think that you get a lot of sugar with that. Um, you can find some really good probiotic, uh, non-GMO, vegetarian uh, probiotics at any health food store. Um, it'll just, like there's, there's a lot of bacteria in there that, that eats away at all the stuff that causes, you know, heavy gas, bloating, um, and a lot, of the, a lot of the bacteria in there, that, that's, it, it feasts on the stuff that's in your stomach, on microorganisms, um, it just helps with digestion and keep things calm and it keeps things regular. <laughs> so uh, if you have an active stomach or, you know, get the, the gut bubbles or, you know, you get the 2.30 post-lunch gargles like I used to, um, I would consider probiotic. You're not going to be able to really tell. You just notice that like all those problems are gone and you, you're just a lot more regular. So a probiotic is a, is a big one. Uh, the next one here is a is one that I just started this year and somebody, my brother actually recommended it to me because of like seasonal, like getting seasonal. I live in Nebraska right now. It's like the dead of winter. It's gray, it gets dark early. It kind of gets depressing. And he recommended taking vitamin D and I've been taking it for about two weeks and I, my mood has been pretty good. Um, I can really tell that, um, you know, my mood's really improved. It does seem like um, it's sunny days, to be honest with you. I mean, that's, we get vitamin D from the sun um, and in the middle of fucking winter, like we don't really get any sun here in Nebraska and we get limited amount of it. I'm in the office all day. So um, if you have problems with that, like if you think you might be affected by the lack of sunlight or if you live in a place that uh, has a lot of darkness throughout the year, like try to take a vitamin D supplement. You will definitely notice it. Um, 
in, in your mood and just kind of your general outlook. Um, the next thing is kind of the most important. So, you know, even during the week is, is tough for me to like, I don't have a lot of time to stretch and to do yoga and to, you know, get real limber. I kind of just need like a quick thing to just get me loose and get me limber so that I can get up in the morning and go to the gym. Um, the order that I'm getting, you know, it's not easy for me to recover as fast and I'm on the go just all the time. So, uh, one thing that I kind of manufactured after pulling some ideas offline is something that I would recommend to anybody who works out or anybody who has any kind of stiffness. So it's going to seem a little extreme, but it's a jigsaw massager and this thing seems fucking crazy, right? Like it just, this is a power tool that somebody turned into a massager, right? It's, it's just nuts. But there's this is a lacrosse ball here and um, it's got enough forgiveness. Those are, that's another thing too. Um, you know, cross ball or lacrosse balls or any kind of uh, soft tissue massage um, tools or arms or extensions that you can find. I, you know, I use those all the time. This is the one that has been a game changer. You can find these online all over the place. Um, I'm going to link to the products below in, in the comments because they are specific, especially this little connector here. But, you know, the drill, this is like a hundred bucks and this little, you know, adapter here, this is probably like 25. Um, you can get this stuff on Amazon and these are like two bucks at like a sporting goods store. So I'm going to link to these two items here below so you guys can, can pick one up. Um, if you find this stuff out online, what you'll find is that like, Basically, you get this, and people are charging like three, four hundred, even all the way up to like six, seven dollars. Fuck that! I am not paying that much money for that. So um, I just did a bunch of research, and I made one. But this has been the most valuable thing. I'm practically married to this thing <laughs> because, like, I don't spend any time stretching anymore. Um, it gets me loose and limber, any soreness, um, any stiffness, any lactic acid buildup, anything of that nature literally dissolves within seconds using this. So um, that is really the most pivotal thing in terms of my recovery. Um, and, you know, hopefully you guys are training hard. I'm sure that you are, but uh, that you got something out of today's episode. Uh, if you're heading to Super Bowl parties tonight, have fun. Definitely do not let that diet go to waste. Watch retreating because Monday will be here before you know it. Um, like the video, share the video, add your comments below, continue to share your journey. Please do subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so, and then share the channel with anybody that you think would be good contributors here at the Man Corps. I got to run, fellas, but thanks again for watching. I'll catch you all on the next episode of the Man Corps.